students as we have discussed the vector equation of a plane passing through the point a bar perpendicular to unit vector n cap it's just recollecting the concepts is what r bar minus a bar dot n cap is equal to 0 this is the vector equation of a plane passing through the point a bar and the perpendicular to unit vector n cap later we have expanded r bar dot n cap minus a bar dot n cap is equal to 0 so therefore r bar dot n cap is equal to a bar dot n cap this is now since the vector equation of plane where p be the perpendicular distance from the origin p be the perpendicular distance from the origin to the plane and the n cap be the unit vector perpendicular to it perpendicular to it then r bar dot n cap is equal to p therefore i can write this is p is equal to that is a bar dot n cap p is equal to a bar dot n cap this represents the perpendicular distance from the origin to the plane which is passing through the point a bar and the perpendicular to the unit vector n cap yes let us see now this is a vector equation i want note or a result of it let a bar is equal to a1 i a2 z a3 k next n cap is equal to l1 i l that is m1 j plus l m z n k and r bar is equal to x i plus y z plus z k these are the vectors so therefore i can write i want the cartesian equation cartesian equation of a plane cartesian equation of a plane passing through the passing through passing through the point point a bar and perpendicular to and perpendicular to the unit vector n cap is r bar minus a bar dot n cap is equal to 0 which implies r bar dot n cap is equal to a bar dot n cap what i did is take the dot product take the dot product if i take the dot product r bar minus r bar dot n cap is equal to a bar dot n cap so therefore now what is r bar xi so which implies xi plus yz plus zk dot n cap where lmn or the dcs lmn or the dcs of a line or a vector you know already l square plus m square plus n square is equal to 1 so therefore therefore wherever whenever you come across l square plus m square plus n square you are liable to write one so therefore now dot take the dot product r bar dot n cap this is li li plus mz this is nk li plus mj plus nk is equal to a bar dot n cap this becomes a1i plus a2z plus a3k right dot of dot of that is uh, uh, x minus i can write into that is li 
plus mz plus nk right so therefore i can write this one as uh, that is lx plus my plus nz is equal to al plus bm plus cn is the what the cartesian equation of a plane before that i want to press the what one point into what context what is that that is i dot i is equal to 1 i dot j 0 i dot k 0 next i dot i 0 i dot i 1 i dot j 0 i dot k 0 similarly you have to go with what dot product taking with each and every component vector with the z as well as k so therefore lx plus my plus nz is equal to what la plus mb plus what cn la plus mb plus cn this represents the cartesian equation of a plane cartesian equation of a plane you take this p what is this p p is equal to al plus bm plus cn the cartesian equation of a plane passing through the point a bar and a perpendicular to the unit vector what n cap so therefore yes students we have come across the in detail regarding the vector equation of a plane passing through the point a bar and perpendicular to the what unit vector n cap as r bar minus a bar dot n cap is equal to 0 meanwhile the cartesian equation of a plane passing through the point a bar is equal to a1 i plus a2 z plus a3 k and perpendicular to the unit vector n cap can be taken as L i plus m j plus n k where L comma m comma n are the DCS of a line or a vector and meanwhile our bar is equal to x i plus y z plus what z k is given to be r bar minus a bar dot n cap is equal to 0 r bar dot n cap is equal to 0 a bar dot n cap is equal to 0 r bar is equal to x i plus y z plus z k dot that is l i plus m j plus n k so therefore a 1 i plus a 2 z plus a 3 k l i plus m j take just a, a dot product that gives the cartesian equation of a plane passing through it yes let us have a discussion about what is the equation of a plane parallel to it may be taken in terms of vector may be taken in terms of what cartesian okay let us see now look here note the vector vector equation equation of a plane 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 parallel to parallel to r bar dot a bar is equal to p is r bar dot a bar is equal to p is r bar dot a is equal to q right r bar dot a bar is equal to p is what r bar dot a bar is equal to q if i take in terms of second one cartesian equation of a equation of a plane equation of plane parallel to parallel to x plus b y plus c z plus d is equal to 0 is 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 a x plus b y plus c z plus d 1 is equal to 0 they differ by a constant here also the constant is p i have taken as what p followed right next the cartesian equation of a plane the vector equation of a plane equation of plane 
एक्सप्लेन पैरल टू आर बार माइनस ए बार डॉट बी बार इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड पासिंग थ्रू पासिंग थ्रू पासिंग थ्रू द पॉइंट C bar and perpendicular to B bar is right. So therefore, similarly, you can go for what the Cartesian equation of a plane. Now let us see the angle between the two planes. Angle between the two planes is same as angle between their normals angle between the two planes is same as angle between their normals now if i take like this like this one plane i take r bar dot m1 is equal to q1 r bar dot m2 bar is equal to q2 definition says definition says angle between angle between between two planes two planes r bar dot m1 bar is equal to q1 r bar dot m2 bar is equal to q2 the angle between two planes r bar dot m1 bar is equal to q1 r bar dot r bar dot m2 bar is equal to q2 is same as same as angle between there between their normals normals that is m1 comma m2 so therefore cos theta is equal to i can take m1 bar dot m2 bar by modulus of m1 bar into modulus of m2 bar you can very well observe as we have proved the vector equation of a plane in which p be the perpendicular distance from the horizon and n cap be the what unit vector perpendicular to it is given by r bar dot n cap is equal to what p here n cap is nothing but a what normal so therefore in place of n cap we have m1 bar and what in place of n2 cap we have what m2 bar nevertheless m1 bar and m2 bar are the what normals so therefore the angle between the two planes is same as angle between their what normals angle between the two planes is same as angle between their normals is given by uh, that is cos theta is equal to m1 bar dot m2 bar by modulus of m1 into modulus of what m2 so therefore we come across how to find out the what angle between the two planes okay i give one example what's the example example is right let r bar dot of i plus j plus k is equal to 1 r bar dot of 2i minus 3j plus 4k is equal to 2 right is equal to 2 represents 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 two planes represents two planes then angle between angle between two planes two planes is dash now what i do is what i do is he has given the solution of this one is 
it is given r bar dot m1 bar is equal to what q1 so therefore r bar dot m2 bar is equal to what q2 given two planes are in this form it is quite obvious q1 is equal to 1 q2 is equal to 2 m1 bar is equal to m1 bar is equal to i plus j plus k and m2 bar is equal to 2i minus 2tj plus 4k plus 4k so therefore now coming this one is 4k now let us see what is m1 bar dot m2 bar first you find out now this becomes 2 minus 3 it's a plus now it's a plus 4 so therefore it's a 1 it's a what 2 rather it's a 2 and meanwhile what is modulus of m1 bar modulus of m1 bar is equal to root 3 and modulus of m2 bar is equal to how much 4 plus now 16 20 therefore it's what 29 now yes dot product is not a zero so therefore directly you will go for what cos theta is equal to m1 bar dot m2 bar by modulus of m1 bar modulus of m2 bar now this is nothing but now this is nothing but m1 bar dot m2 bar m1 dot m2 already found out by 2 this is nothing but root 3 into what root 29 so therefore this is nothing but i can write theta is equal to cos inverse of s comma 2 by s comma root 3 into root 29 is the angle between the what two planes is same as angle between their what normals and always you must be very cautious whatever the cos theta value are getting it must be less than 1 because it value lies between what minus 1 to 1 so therefore it must be always less than or equal to 1 yes now that is something 2 by it is always what come on less than 1 it is quite obvious so therefore now the angle between the two planes is cos inverse of 2 by root 3 into square root of what 29 29 next now in another form i take say for example i will write uh, another example let us discuss in detail about this now let okay let that is uh, uh, 2x plus 3y minus z is equal to 4 next next i go for what that is a uh, 5x plus 4y minus 8z is equal to 1 represents 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 yes come on, represents two planes two planes then 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 angle between angle between two normals two normals is dash look here students as you know already the angle between the what two planes is same as angle between the normals there is no separate formula to find out angle between the what two planes same formula but here in comparison with this problem and this problem one work is added to the what the hands of the what students what is that here these given planes are directly in what form r bar dot m1 bar is equal to q1 r bar dot m2 bar is equal to what q2 r bar dot m1 bar is equal to q1 r bar dot m2 bar is equal to what q2 so therefore directly here m1 is available m2 is available directly you can go for finding the what cos theta is equal to m1 bar dot m2 bar by what modulus of m1 into modulus of m2 modulus of m1 into modulus of m2 so therefore you can find out if m1 bar dot m2 is equal to what comma 2 you substituted now here what you do here it is not m1 bar and m2 bar are not available then what you have to do the given planes are in cartesian form given planes are in what cartesian form so therefore for when they are in Cartesian form so you have to extract what is m1 and what is m2 how to extract m1 is a rather 
coefficients of x, y, z. Meanwhile, m2 bar is also coefficients of what? x, y, z. That forms, that constitutes m1 bar and m2 bar. So, therefore, I can write the solution of this one is, the solution of this one is m1 bar is equal to, what is the quotient of x? This is 2, it is a 3, it is a minus 1, means he has taken dot product of this always m1 bar may change, m2 bar may change according to the scalar components, but r bar is always according to orthogonal coagulous coordinate system, r bar is equal to x i plus y z plus what? z k. So, therefore, now this is uh, now m2 bar is equal to the coefficients of now x y z, I can write 5, 4, minus 8. So, therefore, take now I can write. So, the angle between uh, angle between two planes is equal to angle between their normals. Therefore, cos theta is equal to m1 bar dot m2 bar by modulus of m1 into modulus of m2. Take the dot for 2 into 5, 10, 3 into 4, 12, plus 8, hold your by, hold your by. Now, this is square root of how much it is? 4 plus 1, 5, 5 plus 9, it is a 14. Now, this is 25 plus uh, 16 plus 64. 64 plus 16, 80. This is 25. So, therefore, this becomes 105. Therefore, this is the angle between the what? Two planes. Yes, students, we come across now the angle between the two planes is same as angle between their what? Normals. Angle between the two planes is same as angle between the normals. The planes may be may be of any type. The planes may be r bar dot m bar is equal to q1 or r bar minus a bar dot what n cap is equal to what 0. I mean the so it may be passing to the point A that may be not passing to the point A. The any type of plane may be the angle between the two planes is same as angle between their what normals followed right. Now look here coming to this one is now, let us discuss about after knowing this one is some important important geometrical approach on special problems about the what angle between the what two planes. Now, comes about angle between a line and a plane. So, remember the angle between angle between line and a plane. Then you see, let r bar dot m bar represents plane, r bar dot m bar is equal to p and r bar is equal to a bar plus t b bar represents 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 plane and a line respectively respectively then then angle between angle between the plane the plane and a line and a line is equal to equal to the complement is equal to the complement complement of the 
angle between two planes are two lines also between two lines it doesn't changes between the two planes it won't change if it what come on line and a plane it comes as what 90 minus theta complement angle so therefore now complement of angle between the two planes which implies now cos of 90 minus theta this is a position vector of a point you should not take into consideration this is a vector this is also a vector this is a line passing through the point a bar and a parallel to what vector b bar so therefore I will write this one as cos of 90 minus theta is equal to yes now I can write m bar dot p bar by modulus of m into modulus of b bar which implies sin theta is equal to m bar dot b bar by m bar dot b bar by modulus of m bar into modulus of b bar theta is equal to sin inverse of m bar dot b bar by modulus of m bar modulus of b bar this is this is the angle between line and a plane angle between line and a plane now by using the concept of what angle between the two planes angle between the two lines angle between line and a what plane let us discuss about some special problems of geometrical applications right the vector equation of a sphere the vector equation of a sphere Now look here, sphere is a 3D concept, circle is a 2D concept. Now here also, let S be a sphere, S be a sphere and C be a fixed point in a space and P be the moving point, moving point such that the distance from the point P to the C remains constant, then the locus of P is called what? Sphere. With that concept, I want to find out the equation of a sphere having the center C whose position vector is what? C bar and the radius A units. Okay, let us see. After knowing the definition of a locus, now I will find out the equation of a sphere. What is the theorem says? Equation of a sphere. Equation of a sphere. Sphere having having the center center C whose whose position vector whose position vector is C bar and and the radius and the radius is a units then is is modulus of r bar minus c bar is equal to a is what a let us take this is o of r is in y it is a position vector c of c bar this is position vector c bar and position vector is what r bar this length is what a now i start like this the proof of this simple is very simple let 
let p of r bar be a point on the sphere yes so and sphere and c c is the center center whose whose position vector is c bar such that o p bar is equal to r bar o c bar is equal to c bar and the radius is a which implies which implies c p bar modulus of c p bar is equal to a which implies is equal to a which implies is equal to a this is the equation of a sphere having the center having the center c of c bar and the radius a units and radius a units so therefore i can write radius a units now if a square on both sides r bar minus c bar whole square is equal to a square which implies r bar square c bar square minus 2 into r dot c is equal to a square this is also one way of writing the what equation of sphere the other one also i can write what is that r bar square minus 2 into r dot c is equal to a square minus c square this also represents the equation of a sphere the equation of a sphere having the center c of c bar and the radius a units remember the equation of a sphere with center c and radius r is maybe r modulus of r bar minus c bar is equal to a or r square r bar square plus c bar square minus 2 into r dot c is equal to a square c square r square has nothing but about scalars if you square the what any vector it becomes what scalar now r square minus 2 r bar dot c bar is equal to a square minus what c square this represents the equation of a sphere let us see how to write the Cartesian equation of a plane. Cartesian equation of a plane. This is vector equation of a what sphere, right? Now coming to coming to the Cartesian equation of a plane. Listen, students. I want the Cartesian. the Cartesian equation of a plane having having center C bar is equal to x 1 comma y 1 z 1 c bar and and radius a is x minus x1 whole square y minus y1 whole square z minus z1 whole square is equal to a square 
x minus x1 whole square plus y minus y1 whole square plus z minus z1 whole square is equal to a square. How it is? Let us see. As you know already, this is a sphere or is in, if I take this what come on, if I take this as a center, this is C of C bar, P of R bar, this is a radius, this is C bar, this is a what come on, R bar. Yes, according to this, the proof is very simple, the vector equation of a equation of a sphere, vector equation of a sphere, sphere having, having the center C of C bar and radius A is modulus of C bar minus A bar is equal to A. Now, put R bar is equal to X i plus Y z plus Z k. C bar is equal to C 1 i, C 2 z, C 3 k. Fall out. Not instead of C 2, you take as X 1, it is a Y 1, Z 1 is then 1 implies in 1, 1 implies x i y z minus x 1 i y 1 z z 1 k is equal to a. Group the what similar terms x minus x1 into i, y minus y1 into z, z1 into, into k is equal to a. Take the modulus which implies x minus x1 y minus y1 whole square is equal to a. Squaring on both sides which implies this is the what? equation of a sphere. Remember, if the center is 0, 0, if the center is 0, 0, note, if center is equal to 0, 0, this is equal to S2, okay? 2 implies right this represents say the Cartesian equation of a sphere having the center x1 y1 z1 is given by x minus x1 whole square plus y minus y1 whole square plus z minus z1 whole square is equal to what? A square. What is the Cartesian equation of a plane having the radius, having the radius A is given by x square plus y square plus z square is equal to A square. These are the Cartesian equation of a plane the Cartesian equation of a sphere having the center x1, y1, z1 and having the center what? 0, 0. Meanwhile, the radius is what? A units. Okay. Let us see the equation of 
another sphere right now let us recall the concepts of sphere for giving some examples on that now i want to find out let us i want to find out the example on this equation of a sphere equation of sphere sphere having having the center the center c of 1 i plus 2z plus 3k and radius and radius 5 units is dash i'll go for the solution of this one is equation of sphere sphere having having the center center c of c bar is equal to it is a c of i plus 2z plus 3k and radius radius a is equal to 5 a is modulus of r bar minus c bar is equal to a which implies minus i minus 2z minus 3k is equal to 5 units this represents the vector equation of a sphere having the center with position vectors i plus 2z plus 3k and radius a is equal to 5 units followed right now i want to find out the equation of a sphere cartesian equation of a sphere having the center and radius something so therefore if i go for center c center first one is 2 comma 4 comma 5 the second one is 0 comma 0 and the radius 5 units and radius 5 units is dash i'll go for first one is the cartesian the cartesian equation of a plane equation of equation of sphere equation of sphere having the center center c of x1 y1 z1 and radius a is is x minus x1 whole square y minus y1 whole square z minus z1 whole square is equal to s square x minus x1 whole square plus y minus y1 whole square plus z minus z1 whole square is equal to s square come on take this point as x1 y1 z1 come on substitute this implies x minus 2 whole square y minus 4 whole square is equal to z minus 5 whole square 25 this represents the cartesian equation of a sphere having the center 2 4 5 and radius 5 units followed next in detail let us recall the concept same concept equation of a sphere having the radi having the what centers horizon so therefore now equation of sphere the second one is the cartesian the cartesian equation of a sphere sphere having the center center 0 comma 0 
and radius a is x square plus y square plus z square is equal to s square which implies this is the Cartesian equation of a sphere having the center 0 comma 0 and radius 5. Right. Now, since a sphere is a 3D concept, in circles we know that the angle in a semicircle is what 90 degrees. In sphere also we can go for it. So, therefore, no, the angle in a semicircle is what 90 degrees. Similarly, the angle in a what semisphere is also what 90 degrees. I want to find out the equation of a sphere having a of a bar and a b of b bar as the extreme ends of the diameter as the ends of a what diameter. So, therefore, now what I do is you take this is this is the circle you take this circle this is a of a bar this is what b of b bar b of b bar so therefore now if i take a what point p of r bar this is this is the angle in a semisphere is what 90 degrees if a of a bar b of b bar represents a what ends of the diameter then midpoint of the diameter is the center of a circle is the center of a circle so therefore what i do is i want to find out the equation of a sphere i go for the theorem what is that equation of a sphere equation of a sphere sphere having a of a bar comma b of b bar as ends of a diameter ends of a diameter is r bar minus a bar dot r bar minus b bar is equal to 0. r bar minus a bar dot r bar minus b bar is equal to 0. So, therefore, therefore, I want to find out the equation of sphere in this way. I start the proof of this one is very simple. Let a of a bar b of b bar be the ends of a ends of a diameter diameter let p of r bar be a point on the sphere where O A bar is equal to A bar, O B bar is equal to B bar, be the position vectors, position vectors. By definition, the angle in a semispire sphere is what? 90 degrees. P A bar dot P B bar is equal to 0. Why? The angle between these two vectors is what? 90 degrees. The dot product is equal to what? 0. The dot product is equal to 0. So, therefore, P A bar dot P B bar is equal to 0, which implies, which implies, what is P A bar? P A bar is equal to I can write O P bar minus O A bar dot O P bar minus O B bar is equal to 0, which implies 
R bar minus A bar R bar minus B bar is equal to 0. So therefore, this represents the vector equation of a sphere having A bar and B bar as ends of the diameter ends of the diameter. Yes, if this represents the equation of sphere having A bar and B bar as ends of the diameter, then what is the position vector of a what center? We know that since C, C is the center, C is the center of a sphere and is and is midpoint of a b which implies come on o c bar is equal to o a bar plus o b bar by 2 therefore o c bar is equal to is the position vector of a what center is the position position vector of the center of a sphere where a bar and b bar are what ends of a diameter right thank you